السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو وزڈم انٹرنیشنل اسکولس ڈیجیٹل کلاس روم فار میتھمیٹکس سو چلڈرن وی ہیڈ ڈن ٹو ایکسرسائزز ان لینیئر ایکویشن ان ون ویریبل سو ایز اے سیٹ تھری پوائنٹ ٹو اینڈ تھری پوائنٹ فور وی ہیو اسکپڈ فار ٹائم بینگ بیکاز یو نو اٹ ہیز اپلیکیشن پرابلمس اوکے ورڈ پرابلمس آئی بی ٹیچنگ یو دوز آفٹر آئی کمپلیٹ آل دا سمپل ونس اوکے سو نو ویل ڈائریکٹلی موو ٹو ایکسرسائز تھری پوائنٹ فائیو اوکے سو آئی ہوپ یو ہیو کمپلیٹڈ ایکسرسائز تھری پوائنٹ ون اینڈ تھری پوائنٹ تھری ان یور کلاس ورکس اوکے سو تھری پوائنٹ ٹو اینڈ تھری پوائنٹ تھری پوائنٹ ٹو اینڈ تھری پوائنٹ فور ویل ڈو اٹ لیٹر اوکے سو نو کم ٹو تھری پوائنٹ So this is reducing equations to simpler form. So now we have learnt how to write an equation, I mean how to uh, solve an equation, okay, a simple equation, simple linear equation. Now, <coughs> now the equation will be something like this, okay, see now I have directly solved problems from exercise 3.5. So this is the first question, see solve the linear equation, right, x minus x over 2 minus 1 over 5 is equals to x over 3 plus 1 over 4. So we have got denominators here, right, that to all our different denominators. So we are going to see how to solve this, how to reduce them to simpler form, right, how to write them in simpler form and then solve it, okay. See here, if you look at it, this has got a 2 and this has got a 5, so and it's a subtraction over here, we can't solve when we have two different denominators. So first job is to make the denominators common, okay. So we have, so you see this could be made as uh, uh, 10 by multiplying 5 to it, see I have, see there is x plus 2, I am just multiplying 5. So I can't uh, multiply 5 just in the denominator, whatever I do in the denominator, I will have to do in the numerator also, okay. So I multiply 5 to the 2 and 5 to the x, so why have I, why am I multiplying with 5? So that this turns out to be 10, okay, and I can multiply this 5 with the 2. Okay, so this becomes 10, this also becomes 10. So here since I am multiplying this 5 with the 2 and the denominator, I will multiply the same 2 on the numerator also. Okay, so here in this, on this side, what I do is I have a 3 and a 4, so I will have to make the denominators common again. So I multiply this uh, 3 with the 4, so I will do that with the uh, on the numerator also and the 4 over here, 1 over 4, I multiply it with 3 and 3. Okay, so that it becomes 12. Alright, so now coming to this, so 5 into x gives you 5x divided by 5 twos are 10 minus 2 into 1 gives you 2 again 2 5s are 10. Okay, so now see the denominators have become common. So now this side I get 4 into x 4x, 4 3s four are 12 plus 3 into 1 3 and 3 4s are 12. Right, so here the 12 has become the denominator. So now I can write the common denominator as just 10. I don't have to write it twice because it's same, right? So I can just write 5x minus 2 on top and at the bottom I can just write 10 once, okay? Here 4x plus 3 on top and 12 I can write it just once, okay? Now I get 5x minus 2. See, I am actually cross multiplying this, okay. This 5x minus 2 gets multiplied with the 12. So, see, I have written 12 into 5x minus 2 and the 10 gets multiplied with the 4x minus, uh, 4x plus 3, okay. So, this 10 multiplied with 4x plus 3. See, the 10 is getting multiplied with the whole of 4x plus 3, okay. So, that's why I put it in the bracket. Similarly, the 12 also gets multiplied with the whole of 5x minus 2. Okay, so I have to put that also in the bracket. So now 12 into 5 is 60x minus 12 into 2 is 24. Okay, is equals to 10 into 4 is going to give you 40, 40x plus 10 into 3 is 30. Okay, so now let me bring the x terms together. See this 60x and 40x are uh, both are having a x, so they both are common term. So let me pull this 40 this side. So when it comes this side, it turns out to be minus 40x, okay? And the 30 remains here as it is. So I will not change the sign of the 30. And the 24, let me pull it this side, okay? So when I pull it this side, it becomes, it's already minus 30, minus 24 over here. When it comes this side, it becomes plus 24, okay? Now, 60x minus 40x is going to give you uh, 20x, right? That is equals to 30 plus 24 is 54. Now, I will have to bring the 20 this side, so I will have to divide it, right? So, x is equals to 54 divided by 20. So, this is equals to x is equals to, now I can simplify this, 2 2s are 4 
two sevens are fourteen. So how do I do this? Two twos are four. So out of the fifty-four, uh, five, two twos are four. One is remaining. So that goes and attaches with the four, and it becomes fourteen. So that gives you two sevens are fourteen. Okay. See, so you can even do it like this and see. See, this is I'm just showing it for those who are having uh, difficulty with the uh, uh, this thing. You know, the uh, the simplification. Okay. So two twos are four. See, this is how you get right. So instead of sitting and doing this kind of a division, we are directly simplifying it. Okay, you should know how to do this now. All right. Now this is two ones are two zero, so two ten. So twenty seven over ten. I can leave the answer like this, or I can just say two point seven because there's one zero, right? So I can put a point over here. All right. So two point seven. This is my answer. <coughs> okay. Now coming to the third question. So see, I'm just randomly picking one more problem to show you how it works. Okay, so third pro, uh, question from the exercise three point uh, uh, five, right? So I want you all to co uh, copy all these questions, okay? Because since it's from exercises, you have to copy these, all right? You copy it in order. Uh, so so x plus seven minus eight x over three is equals to seventeen by six minus five x by two. So this is the question given. The x and seven are not having anything in the denominator, so I can just put one. At the bottom, see. In the second step, I have written it over here. X over one plus seven over one minus eight x over three is equals to seventeen by six minus five x by two. Okay. So now I'll have to make the denominator common. Now, if you look at this, here it's one, here one, here three, here there is six and there is two. So previously we separately made the denominators common, right? So let's look at the previous question first. Okay. Here we made the denominators common separately. Like you know, on the left side of n is equals to sine, we made this as ten, and the right side of the is equals to sine, we made it as twelve. Right. So that was one way of doing it. Now coming to this problem, here I have got three, six, and two. I am going to make all of them as one common denominator. I can do that also, okay? Because you know, I can actually make all of them six, right? See that's more easy for me. Instead of making this uh, three and that six, you know, I can actually make all of them as six because six is a like you know three is a factor of six. That is, you know, six comes in th three table, it comes in two table also, and you know, obviously one is a factor of six. So you know, we can uh, make all of them as six. Okay. So if I want to make them as six, now come to this question. X by one is there. I want to make this denominator as six. So what will I do? I'll have to multiply by six, right? Only then I'll get six ones are six, right? The same thing. I'll do it on top also. Okay? I'll have to multiply it with six again on top. So now here again, here there is one. So seven by one I write as it is. This one has to be made as six. So I'll have to multiply by six. So I'll I have to multiply the same six on top also. Now I have got minus. So now see, I have got eight x by three as it is. This eight x by three is as it is. Now I need to make this three. It has to become uh, six, right? So I'll multiply it with two. Two threes are six. So the, I'll multiply the same two on top also. Now is equals to seventeen by six. It's already six, so we don't have to touch this. Then again, you have got five x by two. So the two has to be multiplied with three to become six. So it's three and three over here. Okay, so now we will multiply. Six into x is six x divided by six into one is six. Six sevens are forty-two divided by six ones are six minus two eights are sixteen x divided by two into three is six. Okay, is equals to seventeen by six minus five threes are fifteen x by six. So now see all the denominators are six. So in the left side we can just write six only once. Okay, because it's a common denominator, and I write all the terms on top: six x plus forty-two minus sixteen x. This side I write seventeen minus fifteen x, and divided by six again. Okay, now see here, I can actually cancel the c. See now, six x minus okay, forty-two is over here as it is. Six x minus sixteen is going to give you minus ten, right? Sixteen minus six is ten, but larger number is having a negative sign, so I'm going to put minus ten x. Divided by six <coughs> is equals to seventeen minus fifteen x divided by six. Okay, now see both this. There are six in the common denominator, right? There's nothing else added or subtracted. Only six in this side, one six on the other side, and both are in the denominator. So I can just directly cancel this. 
okay i don't have to cross multiply it all right so here i can just write 42 minus 10x is equals to 17 minus 15x so now let me bring all the x terms together so this is 15x so 15x has got a minus sign so when it comes this side it will have a plus sign okay so i'm not i'm just writing 15x that means that there is a plus over here and uh, 10x i'm keeping it as it is over here so since whatever see when i'm not moving the uh, side the sign will be as it is okay so it's got minus 10x so i'll write minus 10x here this is equals to 17 is remaining here as it is so i'll keep it as 17 and the 42 comes this side so it becomes minus 42 so the, the sign in front of 42 over here is plus okay so we should not look at this sign we should look at this sign the sign in front of the 42 okay so now that's going to be minus 42 okay so now 15 minus 10 is 5 Okay, and it's going to follow the larger number sign and larger number sign is plus so it's just 5x I write okay I don't have to write plus because with, when it's plus I don't have to show it as plus all right now here 17 minus 42 again there is subtraction I need to do so 42 minus 7 is 25 but the larger number uh, has got negative sign so I will have to write negative 25 okay so x is equals to minus 25 i'll have to bring the 5 this side so negative 25 divided by 5 which is minus 5 okay 5 ones are 5 5 fives are 25 so see i'm getting minus 5 by 1 which i can simply write it as minus 5 so that's what i have written okay so now while we'll do one more problem from the exercise itself uh, so simplify and solve the linear equation following linear equation so eighth problem see here this has not got any denominator but i have got a lot of brackets right so this is the question 15 y minus 4 minus 2 of y minus 9 plus 5 of uh, y plus 6 is equals to 0 so i'll have to distribute this see i'll have to distribute this 15 has to be multiplied with the y and 4 both so 15 y is a 15 15 times multiplied by 4 is going to give you 60 so minus 60 okay because it's minus 4 then minus 2 into y 2y minus 2 into minus 9 is going to give you plus 18 right because there is minus minus plus and 2 9s are 18 then you have 5 y is a 5 times y 5 y 5 plus 6 i mean 5 times 6 is going to give you 30 okay now let me pick all the like terms together see i have used pink color to uh, mark the y terms see 15 y minus 2 y plus 5 y these three are like terms they are having y in it okay the violet uh, pen which i have used for 60 18 and 30 sorry minus 60 18 and 30 uh, these are like terms okay these are normal numbers okay see whenever i read a number i have to uh, mention the sign if i say just 60 it means it's plus 60 so i'll have to specifically say that it's minus 60 okay right okay so now 15 y minus 2 y plus 5y so all the pink ones with the y i have arranged it together then i have written it, the negative 60 see i am writing it with the sign minus 60 plus 80 plus 30 equals to 0 now 15 plus 5 i can write it as 20y minus 2y right so this is equal, uh, minus then again you know 60 plus 30 see i am just doing it quickly actually you can do it I, I, anyways okay 60 and 30 are going to be subtracted because one is having a minus sign the other one is having a plus sign so but then you know the num sign will be of the larger number so it will going to be minus 60 minus 30 is 30 again and i write the plus 18 okay so now 20 minus 2 is 18 y and then you have minus plus again we have to subtract it larger number is 30 so it will follow the minus sign so i have put a minus sign now 30 minus 18 is 12 okay is equals to 0 now 18 y let me bring the 12 that side see we usually write all the y terms to one side all the non y terms to another side so i have written 18 y is equals to 12 so y is equals to 12 divided by 18 so now i can simplify this see both of them are divisible by 6 table right so 6 times 2 is 12 6 times 3 is so I, uh, 18 so i get 2 over 3 this is what is my answer okay so now i want you to see three problems from this exercise i have solved it so you have to copy all these three questions plus you complete the remaining seven problems okay in this exercise so question one to um, question 10 has to be done in the your uh, classwork okay so complete this we will uh, meet uh, in, a, in the next session with the with the next exercise 
اللہ حافظ تھینک یو